There is no library in the country that has a large collection of course texts that the students can read. And at the moment, we have several titles which we have made available online so that during even this period of closure, students can still get access to the e-course texts and their learning still continues. The library has invested in a number of resources, mostly print and electronic resources. We have a large collection of print resources which are divided into different facets, like the course text, which they circulate and which we are able to issue for two weeks. And we also have a reserve section where students can get materials for two hours. In our electronic space, uh, we have recently, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, been forced to subscribe to electronic books, which are attached to Blackboard links. So each and every faculty member has been coordinating with our electronic repository librarian who has then been uploading links to the blackboards for students to be able to access the course book seamlessly as if they were on session. Predominantly we have two major ebook databases and that is ebook central and EBSCO ebooks. Ebook central contains close to 300,000 titles hosted on that platform. At EBSCO eBooks, we also have a collection of about 100,000, so giving it a total of about 400,000 titles hosted. We also have the digital repository, which forms a large part of where we collect research material that has been indigenous to USIU, created by our faculty members, our students, and that is accessible online as well, erepo.usiu.ac.ke. We also have a bit of our collection in the electronic spaces. These are lab resources that have been acquired, particularly for our students in the pharmacy spectrum. So that's what they're using. They're using um, videos to see what a lab process would be, kind of like a simulation. And in addition to the course text, we also have the OPAC, which is the online public access catalog. Uh, this is a web-based resource, which is basically the key to every collection we have. It's the starting point. If you need to find any book, any journal, any newspaper, any article, you need to go to the OPAC. And students have been trained on how to access the OPAC on and off campus, particularly by use of the virtual private network, which is a Cisco-enabled client that helps us connect our IP addresses from any off-campus location to the USIU uh, IP address, which has been paid for access. And through the OPAC, you can be able to find any ebook just by doing a search. The OPAC is able to categorize the results as to whether they are physical or whether they are online. So far, we have 113 guides that we have developed. The students can go through the library website, that is online library website. So when they go there, they are able to see uh, a tab that, that is called LibGuides. So once they click on it, they're able to search either by subject or by the course. So you are able to get all information in one area. We have invested to the tune of approximately 30 million. The investment has taken uh, cognizant of the fact that during this closure, we require to have various materials online which are licensed by the publisher. We have different methods of interaction. Predominantly, we have a service known as the Ask a Librarian, where students are able to engage with the librarian through email. Once they send their emails, they are actually responded to immediately because we have a schedule whereby we have staff who are actually working on that from eight to nine every day. We also have the library help desk, which is a university help desk. So through that line, we usually get requests from students and we always try to respond to them in good time. And then another channel that we have is what is known as the LibChat service, the library chat service. The users are able to chat with the librarians on one-on-one. -on -one. It's a live chat. So we also have a schedule from eight to nine, every day, Monday to Sunday, whereby we have a staff online that is attending to all the queries that students are actually sending 
any any minute they send they actually get their answers of recent times we also have a library whatsapp so students will also be able to engage with us through whatsapp